<laughs> we have little Mr. E in here with us, the legend Esteban Oriol, yep. uh, a, a photographer extraordinaire, and we have our guy George Perez. Oh my goodness, it's good to have you guys in here. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Mm, cracking, <laughs> <laughs> You're cracking. We're celebrating the five years of Fools Gone Wild this weekend. It's going down your five year anniversary show. That must feel awesome to have started something on Instagram. It take off, and all the fools all over the world can come celebrate you this weekend. It's crazy. It's gonna go down this Saturday tomorrow night, homie. Get your tickets on foolsgonewild.com, homie. <laughs> <laughs> the voice is real. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is so I wish you guys could see the what we're seeing right now. Yeah, it's really cool. I don't know where I'm getting jumped. I'm about to be. I don't know. Stefan's giving me piercing eyes. George, you look a little crazy. I just You I look a lot slept. crazy, not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a cholo, I just iron a lot. Oh, oh that's, that's what it is. That's your favorite hobby? Yeah. You know Blanchard. Yeah. George, I've been seeing your stand up and it feels like you were meant to be in this position. You know, you've gone through a lot. Yeah, you I know? have. Yeah. I, I had someone that DM me. Um, he's Mr. Oropisa. He has a lot of um of low riders. He's like, yeah, I was locked up with that fool. Damn, that, that's the homie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like, you had to have gone through it to give you that life experience to now be a comedian and do what you do on stage. You know, I love it. I I, I came from the prison yard and now mm. I'm on the stage and it's, wow. uh, it's still a prison. <laughs> <laughs> Just different you know? area. Yeah, but Damn. look, I'm with little Mr. Little e Mr. now. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. You know how many <laughs> Cholos have this fool's picture in the pin? No way. Man, I bet. <laughs> have you seen yourself tatted on people? Yeah, a lot. A lot of fools. Wow. That'd be, Some that... fool got his whole head blasted with the mask. Wow. Wow. So where does the mask come from? The mask came to me in a dream, homie. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Stop <was> laughing. <laughs> Literally, it was just there? It was just there, fool. I woke up and I'm like, damn, fool. I, I looked in the mirror and here I was, fool. <laughs> Because I'm sure you're pretty under the mask. Yeah, I wear the mask because <laughs> if I take ugly? it off, America's going to get too horny. And oh, <laughs> it's, it's, for, it's for our safety. It's going to turn into Power 106 right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're so close to Brad Pitt looking I hear that you look like, no, I need to cover this up. Yeah, I'm doing a favor for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> what can we expect from the show this, this Saturday? You're going to see George Perez is going to host it. Okay. Yep. We got a, we're going to drop our new docuseries with uh, Stevan Oriol here. It's wow. called Crown, Clown Now Cry Later. Yep. It's directed by Ooh. the legend right here. That's dope. He just won an award at a film festival for best director for this. So That's it's amazing. It's going to be super sick. It's starring Puppet Master, The Dove Guy, and Christopherson Kung Fu. That's cool. The Dove Guy, the fool that... Yep. That, oh, yeah. my God. All right, Esteban, I got to talk to you because you're OG. Yeah. Thank you. Legendary photos, what you have done, what you and Mr. Cartoon have managed to do with the city of Los Angeles, with the Chicano lifestyle, with tattooing and photography. No one's done that, and no one will do that. That cannot be duplicated. To now be a part of something like Fools Gone Wild, was it initially like, I'm not touching these fools. This is some like little kid stuff, or was it like, I got to be a part of it? No, I was there from the gate, you mm -hmm. know, like he'll yeah. tell you I was uh, the first one with a blue check to start like in the To page. reach out? Yeah. yeah. Ooh. I was yeah. like, oh, hell no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he had me rolling since day one. Like, as soon as I seen it, I was like, man, that shit was funny. And okay. Life's OG, too OG. Short, yeah. You, know? yeah. <laughs> you got to have fun and uh, laugh a little bit. You do. You definitely got to laugh a little yeah. bit. And you've made us laugh a lot, little mystery. Sometimes it's just like, the the stuff you've managed to to grab and highlight on this page it's not like there's toxic pages you know there's pages that are there to incite certain feelings certain animosities or to make us look like straight up fools you allow us to have that chuckle that we all have they call it carilla right and yeah. like our our culture is yeah. just we're gonna clown you we're gonna make fun of ourselves and the lifestyle but you've managed to curate it in a way where it feels fun i don't feel like it's hate on anybody is that intentional yeah it's intentional for sure i mean we got to have fun comedy hills fools you know you can't be mm. all serious all the time but i think um with with, with all due respect to you know our people mm -hmm. we gotta laugh we gotta have a good time man and also you know we do community work and we put it down for everyone out there yeah, yeah. do you get any messages that say like man you guys brighten up my day you guys saved my life like stuff like that all the it? time homie i yeah. get messages that i cured fool's depression yeah. yeah it's crazy man you've definitely cured mine i remember during <laughs> the um the pandemic 
the the lives that you guys would do. Oh yeah. And those yeah. were like Great. the things I would look forward to every day. Yeah. From shadow boxing. Yeah. From a live. Yeah. <laughs> What's the craziest thing you've you've su- seen someone do on live? Shadow box on a treadmill. Wow. <laughs> Down. Nobody's like hit the scante on the live though. No. Okay, good. Well, I just I just want to make sure. Don't smoke scante, kids. Don't smoke scante, kids. That's the wrong message, man. I'm just asking questions. Oh my gosh. All right, there's like some OG like fools gone wild. Like I want to say like Hall of Fames. You know, there has to be the look at it closely fool. Look at it closely. There has to be the girl that um says Jack in a crack. Yeah. Right. Who do you think is a bigger legend? Oh, hell no. Jack in the Crack? I think it's or gonna, Look at It Closely? I think we're going to go with Look at It Closely. Look, look at, at it, it Closely? Wow. Look at It Closely. And Rip and Dip. R.I.P. R.I.P. Rip and Dip. Ashley, Anaheim. Anaheim, oh, Ashley. Anaheim, Ashley. Anaheim, Ashley. Ashley. True. Yeah. Wow. And you know, I know that you may not have started Edgar's, but I think you gave Edgar such a, like, a feature that we know Edgar's through Fools Gone Wild. At least we do. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Fool's Gone Wild stands behind the Edgar community, homie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is there an Edgar cut behind that mask? You never know, homie. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> All right. We talk about how Esteban Norio was, like, the first, like, blue check to hit you up and, like, be a part of this, right? But I remember there was this big old thing, like, we're going to unveil who Little Mystery is. And then I sale freaking Mario Lopez. Mario Lopez. <laughs> how does that happen? Because you're not Mario under there, right? You never know. Huh? Oh my. <laughs> I'm all fools combined in one fool. Oh. <laughs> my, hey, I wouldn't put it past Mario Lopez to have another job because he has True, every he has single 5, job in the jobs, world. And he does everything. We just did DJ Quick, too. Yeah, I yep. saw DJ Quick come out of that. Exhibit. Is, does it also trip you out to see? Because I know Lupe, I see Lupe Fiasco on there a lot, like always like checking in. We had, you just had Will I Am representing Boyle Heights, and he was talking about Fools Gone Wild. He was talking about the song. But seeing that it even transcends the Latino brown community in L.A., you know, our black brothers and sisters are right there laughing right along. Yep. Do you Does that trip you out? Hell yeah. I mean, it's all about unity. You know, and the show is, is showing that it's black and brown art, mm-hmm. film, music, and comedy all under one roof. Man. Yeah. And I love that you guys have always, since the very beginning, pushed the no lames, no racist, like yep. really hard. Mm-hmm. It's just like if you're if you're racist or you do anything foul – you're blocked. You're, you're out. Blocked. You're out of the yeah. community. You can't laugh with us. You can't do anything. Yeah. And it, it's good because it holds people accountable. Yeah. You know, and it's like people want to laugh. People want don't want to be like, man, I, I got blocked from Fools Gone Wild. Like, what a fat yeah. L to take. Yeah, you're out. You know what I'm saying? Hurting. With that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Down bad. How Down did bad. you pick George Perez to host? I'm sure you get hit up all the time. You get I've DM'd you. Like, oh, I'm yeah. like, hey, can you, look, do you laugh at this? Um, but you don't. It's fine. Um, <laughs> but how are you like, dude, George is the guy. I met this fool on a set of Blood In, Blood Out, homie. Yeah. <laughs> Are you lying or for real? Just kidding, just kidding. The chon chon scene. <laughs> okay, now I'm <laughs> I love that scene. And I didn't see you in there. There was only two fools in there. Unless you're Miklo. I am dark know. like Popeye. <laughs> <laughs> I met this fool at the comedy store. He was just cool. We did a show together, and we've just been kicking it ever since. Man. Yeah. I respect his, his art, his craft, his hustle. I, yeah, I That's met him, good. and I didn't even know it was him. Right, right. Yeah. Like, he came off to me all cool because the Mike Metz did my cartoon. He's like, "Hey, dog, you're George Perez," and I was like, "Am I getting hit up?" Right yeah, now? like he's asking. <laughs> like you don't, you don't come yeah. to a guy like that. Because, you know, my ba- I, owe, I owe one of my baby's mom's money, but she's hiding from me. <laughs> <laughs> And you then, don't know if you're being served. You don't know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then right connected. Yeah, and I just leaned into his ear real slow and went. Shh, shh. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. And then like the hair made my socks come down because yeah. it just stood up and my socks went <laughs> <You're> down. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you were you like is this something cool for you i'm sure you're the coolest fool no is it, this cool for you it was like solidified to me because mm-hmm. this is before the unmasking and i was like damn he is mexican he is a yeah. homie like i was like oh hell yeah because yeah. <laughs> it would be messed up if, if this was some white fool or something hey, yeah. some guy named clark or something hey, there, there's been a lot of theories that say like oh like the dude behind the mask isn't he a mexican and all this yeah. stuff yeah, like, they alter my dna all the net bangers every day Damn. they choose a new race for me every day <laughs> he was sent here by the uh fbi to, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah you heard CIA that one fool. yeah oh wow <laughs> Sick ass, huh? Okay, Sick ass, uh, not only are you st- like clearly you were doing the live show, you've done music too. Like I love the like the different songs that we get 
that are also representative of this lifestyle because it's beyond the page you know tell me about just getting into the music side of things there's the cumbia that's my favorite oh, um, party 69 yeah party 69 um, the first Fools Gone Wild album dropped in 2020. Mm-hmm. I just got in the studio with a bunch of super talented homies, and we just put it down, man. We had fun just laughing, and um, you can get it right now. You can stream it on Spotify, Apple Music, and all that. And we got a new one coming soon. I just made a track with Be Real. That was the last one that dropped. Wow. OG Legendary. hooked that one up right there. Come Damn. On. Yeah. Like nothing, huh, Seb? beamed up. <laughs> yeah. He was like, I'm like, I was like, I'm trying to get Be Real on this track. We're kicking it. He's all, just looked at me, and then he... He got on his phone and he was like, check your email in an hour, homie. Wow. And there was a B Real verse. Wow. Are you Jesus Christ? <laughs> <laughs> the, the plug of all plugs. The plug. The plug of all plugs. That's but, super dope. Uh, tell me more about this this documentary. Where will we be able to see it? Because I know you said it was at a it. film festival. Yeah. Um I w- we're doing this collaboration. I was like, hey, we should do a like a little piece to go with the collaboration, mm-hmm. a film piece. And um He's like, what do you want to do? I go, well, everybody sees these guys, you know, it's just on the page, and, you know, they probably wonder more about them, um, more about them, you know, like, yeah. what are these guys really like in their everyday life? So um, we picked three of them and went, you know, just went all out, filmed them, and hung out with them for a couple of days, and there it is. There it is. And it's not a comedy. <coughs> it's a tearjerker, homie. No way. Oh, you missed it. I don't believe you, homie. You'll see. Because <laughs> what type, is it going to make me cry from laughing? Yeah, no, you're going to be crying just from sadness. No, you know oh, what? I'm, I don't yeah. want to be a sad boy. I've been so no, sad with the weather. it's very inspirational. Oh, okay, okay, it's okay. A, So it's like basically like the story behind the people that have become the meme. Yep. Wow. And that's always interesting because you never know what led them to this point or, yeah. you know, what their life has been since they went viral, right? Yep, that's and, exactly, yeah. And I feel like you've always done a great job of reaching out to the people that are posted on the page, you know, because it's not malicious. And you'll you'll tell them, like, hey, is it cool if I use this? Is oh, it, yeah. You want me to tag you? Yeah. I've sent you a bunch of stuff, and you'll be like, oh, what's their at? I want to talk to them. Yeah, make sure we get permission, you know, and tag That's tools. so yeah. cool. Um, you're wearing the belt right now, the Fool's Gone Wild uh, wrestling, championship boxing, belt. championship belt. Is anybody fighting for it this weekend? Catch the fade world oh, champion. I'm going <laughs> to announce it right now. The kid from Jar who never ranked it, oh. the real you happy fool, uh-huh. is going to fight Commitment Soldier. Ooh. Wow. Oh. Who you got, little mystery? I'm Jar. Oh. oh. Maybe the ref. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I love when we can embrace. And, you know, a lot of times, especially within, like, like the Latino community, even because I'm half Mexican, half Salvi. But even within, like, different people that are Mexican, it kind of feels like we don't want to see each other win or that can be the narrative, right? This is a place where we could just unite and be together, come from different spaces, come from photography, documentation, come from comedy, come from net banging or anti-net banging and being <laughs> able to come together and be like, look, we're all the same type of fool. Yeah. We all want to laugh. Bring it together, together under one roof, man. Come through. Bring the good vibes. Come on. Okay, our net bangers welcome at the Fools Gone Wild. Everyone's show. welcome. Yeah. Ah. We have a net banger jump reform pro- <laughs> program coming soon, homie. Oh, reform program yeah. for net bangers? Yeah. That's fine. The Fools Gone Wild second chance program, homie. You're so <laughs> Send an email and say you're sorry. It won't bring you back. Say you're sorry. <laughs> we have something called the Edgar Report where Vic talks about, we highlight an Edgar. And we want your guys' take on this one, okay? No, Gamma, cut. Gamma, cut. Gamma, In Edgar news, <laughs> I had to let you guys know about this 12 year old Edgar. He's 12 years old, and he's like a little chunky Edgar. Yeah, like, he's a little he's chunky little Edgar. Boy. He's at the mall at a barbershop. Mm-hmm. I don't know, there's a mall in, outside of a barbershop. It's kind of crazy. Um, and he is rapping, and this is what he's saying. Oh, oh <laughs> get in the car. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we have little Mr. E here with us. We have George Perez and we have Esteban Oreo with us. That's like a you guys saw him, right? Little chunky little cute oh, little yeah. Edgar. Talking about <gasps> doing that. Talking out your neck. I don't like it. Does his listen. mom know he talked like that, homie? I know. <laughs> She's probably why he talks like that. I'm going to call your mom, homie. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like the flow? It's pretty sick. He's got passion. He's going for it. He's got the Edgar cut. Yeah. He kind of looks like Hamlet. <laughs> <laughs> he has a backpack and everything. Wait, I know he like went straight from school. If he's not ditching school, 
And he just showed up to the barbershop. Let me perform for you, fool. Yeah. Bring him on stage. What do you think? What do you think's in the jam sport? Ooh. <laughs> Food. Capri Sun. Capri Sun for sure. Capri Sun. What's his uh, rate? His flow from uh, one to sixty nine. I, I gotta see his report card first. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not, yeah. It's probably not good. Let's give him a. Let's give him a solid fifty. All right, that's good. Fifty out of sixty. That's good. He still has work to do, yeah. and that'll keep him in school, so Room he doesn't give up to to be a rapper. I like yeah. where you're going, Little Mystery. Look, tomorrow night, the five year anniversary of Fools Gone Wild, the live show is going down. We have Esteban Oriol, legendary photographer, document documentarian. I'm assuming now, yes. right? Yes. Is this where you're going more towards, like doing the uh, movies Films and document and doc- yes. documentaries? Yeah, I'm trying to get to do more movies. I did the LA originals and mm-hmm. it's yep. in incredible. The and uh you know that's the direction i'm headed in the photography is you know so watered down and yeah. oversaturated it's a little bit uh you know uh doing movies is a natural elevation from photography yeah yeah you know what i want to ask you about esteban a lot of the movie um the documentary la originals uh, surrounded the sixth street bridge right yeah. and that was right before it got built so what do you think about the bridge now and everything surrounding it um, I think it's pretty cool. It's arty farty, you know. Arty <laughs> farty. Yeah. And, uh, but uh, you know, I'm an old school guy. I like all the old school architecture of LA. Yeah. Um, they're you know they're overdoing it downtown. They're building all these big buildings. There's a bunch of empty buildings. They should just fill those up and leave it leave it how it looks. You know. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Everybody wants to go big and kind of destroying the skyline. Mm. Oh, that's real. You know, we had Will I Am come in, and he was talking about the bridge, and he's like, "It looks nice, but what that shows me is just the start." Yeah. And you know, and what is that going to do to the community of Boyle Heights in East LA? It, like that can be around that area. What is that going to do to their housing, to their job, to everything else? If we're making everything around look so like, hey, come here, people, because you know what type of people yeah. it might be co- attracting. Yeah. The waffles. Yeah, there's um, <laughs> you know, there's gonna be a poodle park underneath, underneath the bridge. The <laughs> you can come and uh, have your dogs there. They're gonna have like uh, some veggie wraps and smoothies. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, when you say poodle cool. park, you think pit bulls aren't allowed or what? No, no way. No. <laughs> no. Jane little, doesn't have a pit bull. <laughs> yeah, Jane only has little a poodle. dogs. <laughs> <laughs> only the dogs you can carry in your purse. <laughs> <laughs> Look, something else that's gonna happen at the five year anniversary. You guys were just talking about it. Was is the roast beef? I've roast. never even had roast beef in my life. Yeah, tell uh, us about it. Tell us about it, George. Uh, well, last year we started it last year, right? Yeah. At the four year anniversary at, in Santana, so it's it's like a battle, like roast battle, uh-huh. but we do roast beef. <laughs> and last year I went against the champion of roast battle, Frank Castillo, uh-huh. and we tied. Uh, so is this the rematch? No, this no. is another guy. This oh. Young Beeves. Yeah, this, this he can the, get it though. Oh, he can get yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, and he's fat. Tafito. Not like he's oh. so fat, Jesus <laughs> can't even lift his spirits. Oh my gosh, <laughs> not even <laughs> Jesucristo. <laughs> we can't even baptize this fool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so. Are you used to getting like I'm sure as a comedian and Loki having to hold oh. your own? In La Pinta Fool, like you had to be able to have those jokes and have them come at you and you not get hurt. Like, oh, that hurt. Yeah, it's natural, you know. I, but it's crazy because when comedians make fun of each other, we use that as material. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like yeah. this guy told me I look like a Mr. Cleaning lady instead of Mr. Cleaning. <laughs> oh, oh, my man. God. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to use that. It's never led to like real being really upset, though. Like you, you might have said something that really got them in their little trauma trigger. That's all I'm going for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Has right. it ever worked the other way where like you're about to get down and then you said something funny to make the dude laugh and it's just like, yeah, hey, you know what? It's fine. Yeah, I mean, it's it's what it is, you know. Yeah. Like to me as a man, when someone beats you verbally, yeah, I yeah, lost. Still. Yeah. yeah. Why am I gonna punch you? Eh? Now I'm gonna look all sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know I'm gonna ask you. Yes, I have baby's mom. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm just no. Who would be between me and Vic? Who would be easier to roast if, like, we were to go into a roast battle with you? It'd be Vic. It'd be Vic. Yeah. But what about him? He's so cute. All right, just uh, roast me. Do the I, honors, please. Right. Uh, I, 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 I like you. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're the only one. Yeah, you get the pack. No. All right. <laughs> okay. Bring me back on. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Bring me back on. Let's keep it going. Uh, 
No, I appreciate you guys for coming. It's really cool to see and be a part of this. You know, we're fans first. To be able to be on Power 106, bring legends in here, like yeah. new legends, legends that are like literally established in Los Angeles. This is what we we strive to to really bring out for Los Angeles and Power 106. So we appreciate really cool. you guys, man. Who's like the the most surprising person that's like tapped in with with you and the Fools Gone Wild page that you were like, what? How are you into? I would have to say Tony Hawk, man. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That was super dope. He commented. I'm like, people are like tripping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. His comment got like 30,000 likes. Yeah. And then he just got tapped into the page and he DM me and we ended up doing the collab. That's and Stevon shot it. Wow. Uh, Chicano Park. Yeah. And what, what like. In San Diego. Yeah. When you um spoke to him and like kind of got to know him. Did you find out any things that were surprising? Like, I guess since he grew up in San Diego, he grew up around a lot of Mexicans, I'm assuming. Yeah, or? he, he yeah. knows what's up. He got high socks, man. <laughs> 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 socks are high. Okay, awesome. so I'm sure people want to know who, who you are besides the mask, right? And it's fine. You don't have to tell me. You could show me later and then I'll tell the world. But... <laughs> When you're talking normal, when you are your normal self, when you're Clark Kent, you're not Superman, right? When you are that guy, do you have to talk a little different? Do you have to be very aware that if people catch like the huh, or something that they yeah, know I it's you? talk like this, fool. This is how I really talk. <laughs> <laughs> you has, still sound the same, Little Mystery. Same. Has anybody recognized you like if you're not wearing the Little Mystery you get up mm -hmm. um, just by your voice? Like one, time. Do, one time, one yeah. time, one time, I went to go buy a car off some fool, and I was like asking him about like the the whip, and that fool's like, "Hey, homie, can I ask you a question, dog?" And I'm like, "What fool?" And he's like, "Are you a little mystery?" I was like, "No, nah, homie, <laughs> well, you're tripping, fool. Drop me off. Um, drop me off. I don't want this off. stupid car. I did not buy the car. Wow. I think at that point though, we all have our our voice." Like we all have our little things of fools gone wild that we can all be a little bit mystery. Yeah. Shout oh yeah, us. we've been we've been practicing. Go, 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 let's give go. Me your, can you rate our hahas? Let's go. Okay, go, Vic. You go, you go you, Vic. Okay, okay, okay. Ha ha. That's, That's good. All right, I've been practicing. Okay, go. you. Ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> Esteban, do you have a ha ha in you? <laughs> He's uh, like, no. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> George. Ha ha. Oh, yeah. All right, All right okay. who's got the best way? You. Yes. <laughs> so, loser. Not you. Hey. Not you. No, no. George. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Look. There was a, a party they had in Texas. And now, like, uh, I think the party was heavily, like, re Mexican regional music playing in the background. And Drake was dressed up like a little uh, tucan. A tucan is <laughs> yes. Tijuana. Sick. It's sick. Like, I feel like they're getting into that space where, oh, like, yeah. now we are the, like, we're the style reference. He's in boots. He has a hat. I don't know. Yeah, they're, they're trying to, like. Like, rappers are trying to dress like the Mexican regional stars of reggaetoneros yeah. now, it kind of seems like. Or just kind of, like, influenced by them, which is a trip because it was the other way around for a long time. For a long time. Yeah, we're taking over, homie. Yeah. yeah. Los Tigres de Norgate. <laughs> vibes. I would wear a matching outfit. That would be super. I always wanted, like, a banda machos vibes. Oh, like, you know fire. how they always wear, like, the tassels? Super yeah. cool. Vibes? You guys have also, um, like, you guys did the Clown Now Cry Later docuseries. That's where so you, cool. you follow a few of the, the meme the people behind the memes, essentially. Who are some people that you haven't met that are memes that you want to meet? Let's see. The look at it closely guy, fool. I see him Is all around. Everybody, you? He's always, like, fool. spotted in a bunch I'm of places. I work with that. Look at it closely guy. Yeah. Look at it closely right now if you're listening, homie. Hit me up. What about... <laughs> okay, so I'm from Glendale. And Glendale Gary is a thing that I get clowned on all the time. And we all know, like, he's from Pasadena, right? And his name's not Gary. But how did that come to you? Like, to be <laughs> like, hey, I want this guy right here. You know what? It's crazy, man. I think these fools are like magnets to me. They just come to enter my life, homie. <laughs> they enter your life. <laughs> there's Destiny? A, there's fools a new will character. Just send me, like, check out this fool. Uh -huh. like, yeah. You know, they're just, they're just, they got what it takes, homie. It yeah. almost feels like it's, I know it's all organic, but it, it seems like too perfect the way things happen. Yeah. That there's certain characters that emerge at the perfect time. Mm -hmm. And then the minute Baby that you, you're like, okay, yeah, that, that one's getting kind of old. Then the, somebody else comes with a whole new like yeah. uh, new character unlocked or something like new that. New fool unlocked. New fool unlocked for <laughs> sure. I, and you know what's cool? Because, again, growing up, I'm, I'm Latina and I grew up in Glendale. We had a lot of Armenian homies. And it feels, again, like it's that bridge with Fools Gone Wild. That it's essentially like shouting him out and that community then gets seen this way, you know? Because he legit is, he's putting on. For the Armenian, oh, it's him and the Kardashians baby. right there <laughs> putting on for Armenians. I swear, neck neck. yeah, <laughs> he's really dope. Uh, do you have someone that that you laugh with 
that we don't know about that it's like this is the your main fool this is your like your homie but it's like mm. we would never know it, it's esteban isn't it yeah it's esteban yeah <laughs> I feel like Esteban yeah. is like the silent like mastermind. He's the funniest fool and nobody he knows. Is. He's funny no just way. naturally. You give me like that one dude, uh, Clint Eastwood vibes. Like you oh, hate wow. everything, but it's funny. Uh. Like, ah, uh, why are we changing? Why are people in cars now? Start walking. <laughs> 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 he has it in him. He has it in him. He's the best. Yeah. That's amazing. Um, okay, so the music. I know that um a couple maybe a couple months ago you had sent me some music. You guys dropped like a like a mixtape essentially, right? Yeah. A free one. What's what's coming up next with the music? What are you who are you planning on working with? Who do you wanna work with? I'm dropping a new album, man. Um and I got some stuff with DJ Quick. Damn. Awesome. Yeah. It's gonna come out. But you know, I just organically link up with these fools and we just make music, man. It's it's really fun, homie. And but you to do a song with somebody like DJ Quick, who's like a musical mastermind, you have to impress him musically. It can't just be for the memes. Yeah, right? he's a genius. What he is, does not take like work collaborations lightly at all. So what was that like? Did you have to play him something? Did was he already hip to like know that like yeah we make you know meme songs, but they're quality. Yeah, I sent him a um what that mixtape the Hot okay. Girl Summer. Yeah, it was on a high sock USB. Uh, I gave it yeah. to that fool, man. <laughs> and it went down. And he was man. and he was sold. Yeah. What was it like being in the in the studio with him? Um, it's dope, man. He's dope. We're gonna get in the studio soon. He's gonna be producing some stuff for me, bro. So wow, it's gonna be dope. Is you that a, a dream come true for Lil Mister? A dream come true. A fool's dream come true. Oh. Man. <laughs> you know what's crazy is like clearly I'm old enough to know about Girls Gone Wild, but I feel like Fools Gone Wild. Some people will just know Fools Gone Wild and not know and like. Anything that comes before that. Oh, yeah, for sure. Do you have girls wanting to go wild for the fools, though? Like, I'm sure there has to be something there. Oh, yeah, they're going to be going wild at the show for sure. <laughs> <laughs> all the hyenas, all you, the girls. You guys have done a really good job of, like, curating, though, and, like, never stepping over the, the line, right, when it comes to, like, Instagram and Twitter and everything to, like, I don't think you guys have ever been, like, banned or or, or um, deleted. That's, yeah, like, a, a yeah. page. I Sorry, that's a thing that a lot of pages run into, right? How do you avoid that? Just walking a thin line, homie, between love and names. Love and names. <laughs> <laughs> <Love> and names. <laughs> what What was like one time that you like maybe one post that like got taken down that you were like, wow, why that? It was a post the other day. It was a uh, um, it was the Edgar meme, mm -hmm. and it was a pumpkin that somebody carved to look like that fool. Yeah, and they said I was harassing that fool, and they took it down. Oh, <laughs> he's probably grown too now, huh? Because yeah. if that was that's been around for a while. Yeah, They're that's gonna, a good one. He's yeah. original. He's original. He's original. What I feel like you guys are the original full page too. There's so many pages that have come up with adding full into different into different like usernames, right? To be like the dad of that. Like these are your sons. Yeah, the Feels highest good, socks. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get nothing for Father's Day though, homie. Oh, <laughs> you full pages. Come on. Send me something full page. Send him some socks. <laughs> so um, back to like the start of the the Fool's Gone Wild page. I remember when it just started it was like a, a voiceover of like a cholo doing a a, a rap in prison right mm -hmm. which um so was when that it went the from first th post that was uh, yeah wow. i'm pretty sure that was the original i did yeah. that and posted it and it did like a million views on twitter what? and i was tripping i'm like i got something here homie yeah so from wow. there like that led to like you starting like the brand and stuff right yeah, and yeah. so what did that entail and how did you get that vision to like oh there's a lane here like mm -hmm. what can i do you know what i was just like i'm gonna take all my talents and combine them into one homie mm -hmm. with merchandise music we got a beer called Bisto coming out it's gonna oh be at the God. show oh yeah and you know it's all about brown owned and independent stuff man so that's yeah. what we're doing yeah I it's love all that. it's all it's all brown owned it's all independent homie yeah, trying to inspire fools, homie, to take it to the next level. You know what I'm saying? No, you have in in five years, like what you've accomplished, like and just have a collective, and you guys grow seem seemingly every year. Like there's a cast of, you know, we've seen Commitment Soldier, we've seen, you know, obviously Estevan and George. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, just talk about the talent that you've been like harnessing. You know what I'm saying? Like you're you're a really good uh, spotter of talent. Yeah, it's like the Avengers, homie. We're all coming <laughs> together. <laughs> But yeah, I the see super fools. And I love working with all these fools, man. Very talented individuals here. Yeah. I love it. Okay, so look. You're so talented. We have to play the song. We, it's Power 106. We got to play the music. Yeah. All right. Yeah. What song are we getting into right now, Little Mystery? This track right here is called Beamed Up. 
featuring B Real. Come on. Jeez. Produced by Beat Butcher Soy of Griselda, homie. Come on. Yeah. Let's play it right here. Power Crank 106 Fools Got Wild celebrating their five year anniversary. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. A storyteller. Yeah, that was a story. sick ass story. <laughs> story fool. Was that, that from was real amazing. life, little mystery? Yeah, that happened yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's so awesome! Look, little mystery is here. We got Esteban Oriol here. We got George Perez here. This all going down tomorrow, the five year anniversary show. You guys got shout outs. Well, shout out everyone on that lineup, man. Shout out Big Esteban Oriol right here. George Perez. <laughs> Joker brand, man, and food's gone wild, man. Yeah. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Shout out to my kids, because I love you fools. Aww. Davina, Amy, Aww. Andres, and Georgie, what's up? That's right. Tell your mom she messed up, eh? Esteban, <laughs> 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 you want to shout out all your sons? Yeah, shout out to my, all my kids, and then uh, Soul Assassins, Cypress Hill, all the family. That's, That's right. so awesome. It's cool to have you guys here again. Thank you for coming yeah, no, through. Thanks for having us. This is of just a, a not even a taste. This is an appetizer of yeah. what you can have or when, when you get these tickets. And you can get it at foolsgonewild.com. Yep, foolsgonewild.com. And every fool who gets a ticket, when you enter, you're going to get a raffle ticket. And one fool is going to win a Nissan Altima. Oh, brand my new. gosh. That's, that's so yeah. cool. You know what's crazy, Eric, is that they all drove in in one Altima, too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and also, if you don't want the Altima... You get $20,000. Wow. Then who gets the Ultima? Well, if you don't want the Ultima, you get the money. But then where's the Ultima go? Goes back, back to the lot. Oh, I was like, <laughs> back does to my it run up? Does it, need, does it need an owner after that? Wow. No, thank you guys for coming through. It's a blast to have you. It's Power 106.